What's good guys, if you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 MT as well as NFL 20 Muck Coins, please go to dvdj.com, link will be in the description, use code BUGS for 10% off at checkout. What's going on YouTube, it's your boy Bugs back, yo, uh, today we'll be talking about domination, um, is it worth it, rewards, all that good stuff, so, um, before we get into the vid, drop a sub, like the vid, because... If you drop 10k in the comments and like the vid, if the vid hits 30 likes, we'll give away 10k MT to a random sub and a random commenter. Um, so yeah, vid hits 30 likes, giving away MT, 10k MT to a random sub. So, alrighty guys, let's get into it. Let's talk about domination. Let's talk about the rewards. Let's talk about is domination worth doing. So from my perspective, I do think it's worth it, but I do think it is a grind. And if you cannot, if you don't have the time to do it. I mean, it's going to, okay, realistically, this is the way I see it. So let's say you're in school, you're a high schooler, you really want to get that pink diamond shown, Ken. All right, so I broke it down. It's going to take for you to finish one domination, like real life time. About, to do two games, it'll take you about an hour. So in each one, you got about 30, um, what, 33 games. So you got 33 games in each one. So 33 games, or is it 30? It's 33 games. So if you have 33 games, each takes you an hour. About let's just say, let's just say it takes you 16 hours to complete each. Okay. Now, if you're coming home from school, let's say you get home from school and sports at five, you got about three hours to play. So three hours a day is about six games. It's gonna take you a very long time to complete it. So I mean, yeah, it's worth it considering you get a free stack house. A free Pink Diamond Sean Camp, a free Dallas, a free Sam Jones, a free Ruby card. So yeah, definitely worth doing. Gonna take a lot of grind. Not only that, you get a ton of tokens. So yes, in my opinion, it is worth doing. It could take you days, hours, years, whatever. It's gonna take you a long time. Dude, I do I play a lot of games and I'm still not even done with historic Dom or all-time Dom. It's a it's a while. It's worth it in my opinion. Gonna take some time. Listen, if you don't want to do it, it's all you. But um in my opinion, you get a ton of you get a power forward and center. You get a center and Bob McMcAdoo. You get a shooting guard small forward. You get Jerry Stackhouse. You get a Sam Jones. And honestly, it is kind of worth it. It's just it's gonna take time. On the other hand, you also get all these rewards right here. So amethyst, you get all these amethysts, bro. You even get up to the diamond stage, I believe, doing it. So in my opinion. You get a freaking whole, if you do every single domination, you get a ton of free players and it fills up your collection. So it's definitely worth it. If you don't have the time to do it, you don't have the time to do it. Just go ahead. If you want to take an hour of your day sniping and making MT, that's fine. If you only have an hour to play domination a day, I would not do it. If it's only an hour a day, it's just not worth your time. You'll take like freaking six days of playing the game to finish it. If you only got one hour a day, go ahead and snipe on the auction. That's probably a better idea. So also, let's get into the rewards. There is a ton of rewards in Domination. That is one reason why I would say do it. So first of all, to complete all-time Domination, you get a Jerry Stackhouse. This is just from the East, bro. This Jerry Stackhouse evolves into a pink diamond, and he is absolutely beautiful. Um, I'm very close to him. I got four more games to play, and I get him. I'm really hoping... I, um, I've been having a lot of trouble with the Miami Heat. I lost to them twice in the fourth quarter. I sound like a complete bot. But, dude, I was up 10 plus in every game. The fourth quarter comes, they turn on the clamps, and I literally can't score. I've tried everything, bro. I had Diamond Earl in a row. I had all the good players in the game, and I just can't beat them. I'm on my third try. If I lose to them, I was screaming. If I had the rage, you guys would be laughing. Bro, you don't understand the rage. Dude, I couldn't stop LeBron. And dude, I have Giannis at power forward against Alonzo Mourning, and Alonzo Mourning clamps him up. It's so embarrassing, but yo, that's the only hard part. It's worth it, but it, it could take a couple tries to beat the superstar teams, bro. I'm freaking good at 2K. I went 11-1 on unlimited, unlimited, even with the glitches and the lag. And literally, bro, it's hard. I'm telling you, it's hard. If you can't beat it with your Ruby or Sapphire team, you're going to have troubles. So you get a diamond stack house and I just got this Bob McAdoo. I honestly personally think he's trash because he's 6'9 at center. He can play power forward, but I like a shooter at power forward. In my opinion, I think the card's trash. You could upgrade him to a pink diamond. So, all right, that's pretty good rewards. A uh, diamond in that. And you get a Sean Kemp, as you all know. 
so you get a Sean Kemp as well. Also, if you evolve all, no, 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 even if you just get these cards, or as if you evolve all cards, if you evolve all, car, all cards, you get a Ruby Danny Green, and he's upgradable to an Amethyst. That is interesting. You get an Amethyst Danny Green, he's a knockdown shooter, he's probably absolutely cheese, definitely worth using. Um, yeah, so you get a Danny Green. I think it's worth it for this, and you also get all these dudes who turn into Sapphires uh, early in the game, very good. Also, Sean Livingston, turn into an Amethyst. Personally, will this card be good? All right, so he's not a point guard. He's a shooting guard, which is a big L. You only play him at shooting guard. Um, why is it a big L? He's not a shooter unless he turns into a shooter when he's Amethyst, but this is what I think. Um, if he was a point guard, he'd be OP, but shooting guard, if you're versus Harden, he's only 30K on the auction right now. Definitely not worth it. Um... I don't know. Uh, he's he's pretty good, I would say, for starters. But a shooting guard, it's kind of bummy. But dude, you get a free ruby. You get all these free cards in your binder. You get about 250 plus cards in your binder just from doing all the domination. So that's good. Now, this is. I wish I could show you Sean Kemp. I don't have him. We'll do a Sean Kemp gameplay when we get him. So you also from a historic dom, you get this Bob Sura. He's wet. His uh, I think he has an emerald or a sapphire card that has an 80 something three, and his jump shots money. So yeah, we're close to him. As well, you get a Muhammad Abdul Raouf, bro. He is a 88 overall. He is upgradable to Amethyst. I can't even imagine. First of all, I know he's a dunker and I know he could shoot. So right there, this card is going to be a stud. He's going to be a beautiful, beautiful free point guard off the bench for all you guys. Uh, even though I do have Jason Kidd right now and Reggie Thouse and Earl Monroe, but it's okay. These cards are freaking good, yo. We got Muhammad Abdul Raouf. He's your point guard. We got Kemp. We got all these dudes from cleaning all the domination. We have a pretty much, we have a full starting lineup for free by doing domination. So you have to think about that. It's definitely worth the time, but it is a lot of time. I got to say, it does take a ton of time. Not only that, if you evolve every single player, which <laughs> is even more of a grind, that's going to take me maybe two months. I don't got the time to do all that. I'm going to try, but I will get a pink diamond Jason Richardson um dude that card is so good looking i wish i had it but if you guys didn't see it check it out on 2k mt central bro here it is right here i can't show you the card but yeah check it on pink diamond uh on uh what's it called pink uh 2k mt central because there it is so 96 and you can turn him into a galaxy opal yo this card is going to be impossible to get it's going to take me a year so here's all the rewards right here. You got a Cliff Robinson too. I don't even know. But yeah, it's it's tough, man. I'm telling you, it's going to take time. You got to stay patient, man. But yeah, um, Domination, the hours, worth it. If you do not have the hours, like I said, try single player, triple threat. Um, you get a ton of rewards. Let's go over them quick. You get uh, a ton of free rewards. First of all, you get the Sapphire Gel Green, who you do turn into a Ruby. Very easy to turn into a ruby. It took me a couple games. Also, bro, single player triple thread, in my opinion, is a great a way to evolve your cards. And it doesn't take a lot of contracts, so that's a plus. Now, the, today, um, the vault does change today or tomorrow. So that's going to be interesting to watch. You get a ruby Darius Miles. You guys know the Galaxy Oval Wilkins. You get the Mason. Um, you get all this stuff. So yeah, this is worth it too. If you don't got the time, these games are a lot faster. If you can play 10 of them a day, it's pretty worth it. I'd rather play these low key than set of domination. But since I am a YouTuber for 2K, I do got to complete that domination. I will complete it. I promise you. And um, also, great, great method of making MT, bro. These challenges, they're going to take about 100 to, no, it'll take about 250K MT to complete. But you'll make more MT back in the long run. You'll also get this KG. You'll also get a diamond Chris Webber, a diamond Alonzo Mourning, and much, much more. <coughs> and, a, and a Ruby Daniel Gibson. So, yeah, I do believe it's worth it. Uh, domination, in my opinion, definitely worth it. Gonna take time. Don't get discouraged. If you lose the game, all right, there's my Earl Monroe. Earl Monroe just sold me 15K. Bro, listen, you're gonna get discouraged. I know you are. It sucks. I can't stand playing domination. It's terrible. But listen, if you can at least get it done in the first month, you'll have a solid team to go up on Unlimited and mop teams and try to get that Larry Bird. So realistically, if you're running a no money spent squad, you kind of got to play Domination because you need the tokens, first of all. Like, all right, 
I'm not too far in, but I do have a pretty decent amount of tokens and players. I already got four done out of here. Next up, I'm getting Rudy Gay. I'm close to the diamond stage. Let me tell you, if we get to the diamond stage, I'll be hyped. But yeah, um, let's pray I get to the diamond stage. All right, guys, that's all I got. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to drop that sub down below. We got second video today. We got more videos tomorrow, possibly a stream later. We'll see how it goes. That's all I got, guys. Have a good one. Peace.